So as you can see, it's, it's a very common, common disease. Now, tell, now can one of y'all tell me, how do they normally do their blood sugar testing? Anybody? Yes. They take their finger. Take good. Their finger. Very good. And uh, how do they normally describe that? Is it like painful? Is it um, frustrating? How me, do they normally say it? To me, it's not painful, but when I change my finger to poke another finger, it hurts. So it depends on how you do it. Some people do the same finger, some other changes. Okay. Very good. So. With that in mind, what if I told you that we are developing something to eliminate all that pain? Well, we feel we're, that's what our project's goal is. Our goal is to develop a blood sugar meter to eliminate bricking, all the excess test strips, all the, all and everything you need. And all we're using for this is just a general optical system. What we're doing is we're using a concept that's called near infrared spectroscopy. What that is, it's just basically the, the, the concept of shining light through any kind of matter and then having the process go from there. Other projects in the past, other papers that we've researched, have used uh, infrared light that's really high. Well, our goal is to see if we can create a similar kind of effect in the lower range of the spectrum. So you can see here, we have an LED here. It's being powered by, it's being powered by Everything is being powered by this little this little device called a called a DAQ. Basically, this this is emitting a light, and you can't see it. It's infrared. You cannot see infrared light at a peak wavelength of only 890 nanometers, but it's still in the infrared spectrum, which is exactly what we want. What's going to happen is a person would have to place a part of their skin, in this case, their finger, in between this, and if y'all can. I apologize for, the, for this being deep in the box. If you look in here, if you all want to come closer, all the way in here, there's a, little, there's a small little detector that basically picks up any light that goes all the way through the skin. Because the concept is infrared light can go through the skin, the bone, the muscle, and the glucose in your blood is what's getting, it's what's getting absorbed and the, whatever is reflect, reflected towards it, that's what we're picking up. And based on the light that's left over, we turn that into we, we turn that into a formula. We use a regression analysis for based on samples that we acquired over time. And basically, what we have here is a display in blood sugar. So, if I were to close this lid, so for example, if I were to close this, this maybe, that's another, that's another condition. It must be closed because the LED. This is a light detector, so it detects all light. So we have to make it as controlled as possible. So, let's see. Can I get a volunteer? Yes. One person to volunteer? Okay. Can I do it? Max. It's not, I promise it's not painful. You sure? <laughs> I promise it's let's not. Let's do one with blood sugar problem, another one. Okay, yeah. So we can see. Sure, sure. Okay. sure. This will definitely prove it. One second. This is, don't be shy. This is all I'm going to ask you to do. Basically, just stick your finger out, put it in as far as you can, as far as you can, and I'm going to... You have insurance? Don't make her nervous that she already is, sir. A little deep. Farther, 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 farther. Farther, hold on. Stop picking up. Don't touch the, a little higher. Don't touch the detector. Lift it, little, lift it, leave it in the air. Okay, hold on. Deeper, even further inside. It's not picking up anything. Hold on a minute. Okay, your finger's not directly under the light. That's why. Oh, you're not even. The light's not even shining on her finger. Hold on. All the way down. There we go. There we go. There's a significant drop. Now we still have a little. The, now the only thing that we have to change is the calibration. It's not entirely calibrated yet, but as you can see, um, the reading was going up from 160, but now you see it's there's a there's a, there's a change. Right now it's reading at uh, it was reading at 120, but it's not calibrated fully yet, so it's going to fluctuate just a tad, just a tad. There we go. So, and the goal is. And if you look at, if, if y'all look at this, 
It's monitoring on the phone, as, on, on an Android phone as well. This is what we want to create. So basically, this kind of concept would be in like something like a wristband or a watch, where it would continuously monitor. And then all the results, you see them right here. And then this is what your doctor would see when going in for a test. Any other volunteers want to try? So what is the rating right now? Right now, it's only right now it's at like one thirty. What do you think? Is it good rating or? It's not. It's, in the red? it's not fully calibrated. It's not in the red. It's not in the red. She's okay. Well, don't worry. You're fine. <laughs> you're you're fine. I promise. I just ate. Can I? Can you get my reading? Sure. Sure. Y'all want to give it a try? Sure. Uh, as I said, it's not fully calibrated, so there may be right. a little fluctuation. Make sure it's right under. The there we yeah. go. There we go. Mine's pretty low. No, oh. yours is normal. Normal. Yeah, 120. That's normal. Yours is normal. Like I said, it's it's fluctuating up and down, so that's why it's kind of spiked a little bit. We have to fix we have to we have to fix that. But it was giving an initial reading of like one oh one ten. Okay, so I'm so within the drum. normal range. All right. Soda. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to try? Okay, let, let me try this. Okay. I, 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 I drank it. Uh, <laughs> let me lower the box too. Put your put your finger in. You had a lot of cookies today. And cookies and soda. And oh, let's see. Let's see. A little further inside. <laughs> I don't think it's so no, I think the reading is a I little bit higher than mine, but it's still normal, right? What, what His, he he was reading at 145. So. Oh. Wow, that's too high. I think I told him the... Okay, what about that? Low, lift your finger up just a tad. To make sure you're not touching the detector. Yeah, I'm not touching. Okay, then it's... Okay, that can't be right. No. Okay, that can't be right. It's not... Like I said, we're still... After eight cookies and two, yeah, three. <laughs> so, uh, no, no, no. But you have a point. You do have a point. This, there's still a couple of things we need to calibrate. But other than that, you did see a drop at the very beginning. You did see a drop, which is what we want to create continuously. Anyone else? Yes. You could try.